chemistry used to feel endless. Pages full of reactions, exceptions and equations I could never remember. I tried reading everything, but remember nothing. I would sit for hours and by the next day, everything was gone. Hey everyone, I am Mani Gandran, third year MBBS from Chengalpur Medical College. And I cracked meat in my first attempt. And if chemistry ever made you feel lost, trust me, I have been there too. But one thing changed it all. I stopped memorizing and started recognizing patterns. Because chemistry isn't about remembering everything. It's about remembering what matters. So in this video, let's talk about how to master chemistry step by step. Even if you think your memory sucks. If you have ever felt like chemistry doesn't even start, it's not because you are not smart enough. It's because you are treating it like biology. You can't memorize your way through chemistry. You have to connect it. The real reason most neat students struggle comes down to three things. One, you try to memorize without understanding. You read reactions like poem, expecting to recall them in exam. But without logic, memory fades faster than you think. Second, you ignore NCRT lines. Chemistry in me is 80% NCRT, but most students only read it. They don't analyze each word. One missed line can cost you 4 marks. Third, you don't separate physical, organic and inorganic chemistry. You use one method for all three. And that's where everything collapses. Each part of chemistry speaks a different language. And unless you learn that, it will feel confusing. Once I understood this, I realized I wasn't bad at chemistry. I was just using the wrong method. See, the biggest mistake I made in year 8 was treating all of chemistry the same. But once I divided it into three clear zones, everything is changed. Because every part of chemistry demands different brain modes. Zone 1 Physical Chemistry The Logic Zone Physical chemistry is the most logical part of the zone. It's not about memorizing. It's about understanding the story behind the numbers. When you read formulas, don't just copy them. Ask where does this come from? What's changing when temperature rises? What happens when pressure falls? Every question here follows a pattern. You solve under numericals. You start seeing the same story repeating with different characters. Here's what worked for me. Understand one formula deeply, not ten superficially. Write derivation once in your own words. And before every test, revise concept maps, not entire chapters. If you treat physical like physics, you will score like a physicist. Zone 2 Organic Chemistry The Flow Zone Now organic chemistry is where most students fell apart. We start with general organic chemistry. Then suddenly you realize there are hundreds of reactions, reagents and exceptions and you feel lost. But here's the truth. Organic chemistry isn't about memorizing reactions. It's about understanding behavior. Every reaction is just atoms following their nature. Carbon loves stability. Electrons hate crowding. Once you get this, every reaction makes sense. Here's my formula. Learn every reaction mechanism first, not just a final product. Focus on why reagents attack, electrophiles or nucleophiles, then practice reaction families, not individual names. You will realize all reactions are same story told in different ways. I used to hear organic chemistry until I realized it's just logic wearing a lab coat. Zone 3 Inorganic Chemistry The Memory Zone Inorganic Chemistry This is where most people give up. Too many facts, too many exceptions and no logic to hold on to, right? But actually this is the most predictable part of the chemistry if you follow NCRT like a bible. Here's how to handle it. Read only NCRT lines, but multiple times. Highlight trends, atomic size, electronegativity, ionization energy. Make short cheap table, one page for every block. Don't try to remember everything at once. Your brain recalls best when it sees repetition, not volume. Space to revision is your best friend here. Read once today, again in two days, again in a week. That's how you make facts permanent. I used to read inorganic like a storybook. But once I respected NCRT, chemistry started respecting me back. Now you know the three zones, but without a plan, it's still chaos. So here's the study routine that helped me move from 420 to 650 in mock test. Step 1. Divide chemistry days. Study one physical and one inorganic topic every alternative days. That way your brain switches between logic and memory and never burns out. For example, Monday mold concept plus periodic table. Tuesday thermodynamics plus P block. Wednesday revision plus PYQs. Step 2. The 40-40-20 rule. Give 40% time to NCRT reading. 40% to solving questions and 20% to revision because reading without solving is like learning swimming from a book and never skip revising because chemistry decays faster than any radioactive isotope. Step 3 Micro Revisions Every Sunday take 1 hour just to read highlighted NCRT lines again. You will be shocked how your retention doubled by the next test. I did this every weekends, not for mark but for memory and trust me it worked. Remember, chemistry doesn't need 10 hours study a day, it just needs consistent repetition, one smart hour every single day. That's all it takes to master it. So stop hating chemistry. Start decoding it. Let's be honest. Most of them make the same chemistry mistake every single year. And I did them too. 
The difference is I realized them just in time. Mistake 1. Learning reactions without understanding mechanisms. You can't mug up 200 reactions and expect your brain to reproduce them during your exam. I used to copy reaction list again and again, but the next day it was gone. The fix, learn the why. Why did this bond break? Once you understand the pattern, the product becomes obvious. Mistake 2. Ignoring NCRT and running behind modules. Every topper will tell you the same thing. 80 to 85% of neat chemistry comes word for word from NCRT. But we waste time solving reference books before even finishing that small green book properly. Your target isn't finishing material, it's mastering NCRT. Read it like it's your life manual. Mistake 3 Reading with Provisions You don't forgot chemistry because you're weak. You forgot because you never reactivated your memory. The human brain has one rule use it or lose it. So if you read coordination compounds today, revise them after two days, then after a week. That's how I turned my weakest topic to my strongest. Mistake 4 Not solving PYQs properly. Most students solve PYQ once. I solve them thrice. Once to learn, once to test, once to master. Because NEET doesn't ask new questions. It has old questions in new patterns. Even I made these mistakes. But once I stopped chasing everything and started following one clear system, chemistry becomes predictable. If chemistry feels like it's slipping away, don't try order, try smarter. Here's the shortcut system. I still used to remember everything. First, mnemonics that actually work. Don't force mnemonics for everything. Use them only for series and exceptions. Example, for group reactivity, Nainaki represent. Sounds funny but sticks forever. Create mnemonics that sounds weird. The stranger it looks, the stronger your brain holds to it. Second, reaction flowchart. Every chapter make one flowchart. From reactant to reagent to intermediate to product. Don't draw art. Draw logic. When you visualize it, you stop memorizing it and you start understanding it. Third, space preparation. This one's my secret weapon. I use Anki style division. Day 1, day 3, day 7, and day 15. Small flashbacks, big impact. You will realize your memory doesn't fail you. Your revision system does. Fourth, teach it to yourself. If you can explain a reaction out loud without looking, you have mastered it. Every night, I would explain one topic to my wall, like teaching a student. That's how real retention happens. Chemistry was once my weakest subject. I couldn't even remember one reaction properly. But once I made this system, I realized it was never about the memory. It was all about the method. If you are watching this video till now without skipping, you'll probably know that chemistry can make or break your needs code. And I know how it feels when reaction doesn't stay in your head when you read the same line 5 times and still forgot the next day. I was there too. Even I did those same mistakes, ignoring NCRT, running behind too many modules and expecting miracles in the last month. But here's what everything changed for me. I stopped studying chemistry like a subject and started treating it like a story. Every atom, every bond, every reaction, it has a reason, a logic, a pattern. Once you see the pattern, chemistry stops being random. It becomes predictable. You don't need to be a topper to master it. You just need to be consistent enough to read it one more time, revise it one more time and believe in yourself one more time. Chemistry doesn't test your memory, it tests your patience. So even if you feel lost right now, remember, the same pages that confuse you today will make you smile the day your results are out. So don't give up. Master chemistry and let your hard work speak in the OMR.